I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. We like to move it. Hello everyone, Phoenixo here and welcome to another video of a multi-part series in which I'm gonna show you the whole process that brought me from the default cube till the animation you just saw. In this video we are gonna rig the character using Rigify. Create a new collection called Armature and add Armature, Animals, Bird. I decided to use Rigify as with a few simple settings you can take advantage of a huge amount of controls bow that otherwise requires a lot of time to create from scratch. Probably if you create the armature from scratch, bone by bone, you'll have a customized result perfectly designed for your needs. So, as many times, it's a matter of trade-off between the time and the needs you have. In the next video I'm gonna add a few bones to the armature so I can get more freedom in animating the eyes, but that day is not today. Once you add the armature in edit mode and with X mirror selected, start moving the bones to match the mesh. You can use the many snap options as snap to face, vertex, volume, you name it, to get in the easiest way possible the right placing of the bones. As you may see, I choose the amount of feathers to add considering the number of feathers bones available with the Rigify armature. It was not necessary to do it, but I think I spared some time doing so. Once you place the bones in the right position, in object mode, select the armature and in the properties menu, click the Generate Rig button. You will have now the Meta Rig that is the starting armature from which you have created the new rig armature. At this point, select first the mesh and then the rig armature. Press Ctrl P on your keyboard and choose with automatic weight. You can now start testing the deformation in post mode, simply clicking on each bones and moving or rotating them. I'm not gonna lie to you, especially if it's the first time you're using Rigify, probably you will have to repeat the operation a few times before getting the result you want. For this reason, under the Generate button there are also advanced options to overwrite the rig you've already generated. I don't know if I'm missing something, but most of the time I don't get the result I was expecting. So I usually delete the rig and the widgets. I fix any issue I may have with the metallic armature, I generate a new rig and parent the new one to the mesh.
the metallic armature in edit mode, you may also need to fix the bone roll of a few bones. It's not necessary, but in this way you can get clean and consistent bones rotation. In my case, for example, I want all the feathers to rotate along the x-axis for the main rotation. For each of the objects you parented to the armature, you now will have an armature modifier. Be sure to put it on top of the particle system and subdivision surface modifiers. After a few trial and error, I'm pretty happy with the deformation I get, and I can basically call it a day. But nope, I like the pain. So the journey continues in the next video in which I'm gonna show you a series of mistakes I made trying to rig the eyes to get that cute blink. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you will still be part of this journey and in that case, see ya!